Am I my brother's keeper? You should be. First of all, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. <clears throat> Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace and salutations until the hopefully let. To the hockey I'm out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice as the scriptures ordain them to do so. I want to say shalom to you mighty brothers as well. <laughs> Excuse the slack. Continue to fight the good fight of faith. <clears throat> also, continue to spread the good news, which is the gospel. Spread it across the four corners of the earth. Shalom to you mighty brothers. Shalom to the Aqua sisters out there listening and learning in silence. Reverencing your husbands if you have one. All right. <clears throat> and if you don't have one. All right. Pray to the Lord that the Lord sing you a man of the Lord. Seeing that the Lord is going to make a man more precious than fine gold. All right. In these perilous times to come. All right. When you go into that word precious, it goes into valuable man okay and the men of the lord is going to be the true high value man in those days man because that's going to be the real currency you know stability you know you know spiritual stability you know and faith is going to be the new currency in those days man those times man all right so you you aqua and pray that you know the, <clears throat> that lord sing you a man of the lord man okay make sure you repent you know and keep your mind you know, stable as well to the best of your ability and, and try to be obedient to your husband. All right. With this particular video, you know, uh, I was going to go into another topic, man, but the spirit uh, didn't lead me towards that way, man. The spirit led me to this topic right here, man, that I actually I, um, <clears throat> I was listening to maybe a week or so ago, man, you know, wrote down a couple of scriptures, you know, here and there. And, um, you know, I'm just, hey, just now going into the topic, man. Okay? And the topic is, I am I my brother's keeper, man. <clears throat> and, um, you know, hey, hey, I, I, I answered that question and, and said, you should be, man. All right, well, and we must daily, you know, vet ourselves and examine ourselves, you know, and, and to see if this question is suitable for us, man. Okay? Seeing that we coming out of this you know, uh, coming out of the world, man, it's hell, <laughs> you know, mentally, all right, <clears throat> and, and how does this world, you know, how, how, how does this world, you know, have us trained to think, man, okay, we get it up by our own bootstraps, you know, this loner spirit, okay, this loner spirit got us airing and got us, you know, not tending to the flock, man, as we should, man, okay, and we're fighting, you know, our past as well, too, man. You know, hey, being fucked over, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, being done wrong, you know. But that's because we was in the world, man, you know. And how, how we look at our brothers, man, we should be looking at our brothers as if it was Yahweh Shai, man, okay? Hey, because we are little, many Yahweh Shai's. This is who we are, are tamed to be, man. We are, we are striving to, you know, to be, and that's our example. Okay, when we um, when the Lord called us out of this world, man, that was He was the standard, man. Okay, the standard was no longer, you know, <laughs> hey, the big time dope dealer, man, you know, or, or the basketball player, the NBA player, you know, or the football player, all right, or your big brother, you know, he grew up in the world, <laughs> all right. Our standard and our role model is Yahweh Shai, man. That's who we look up to, man. And guess what? <clears throat> Him being as a brother, you know. To the disciples, guess what? Hey, he, he was greater, greatest of them all, man. Why? Because he served them all, man. He was a servant to them all, man. Okay? Hey, that scripture where it say who he was greater, man, you know, must make himself uh, 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 out to be a, more of a servant to the brotherhood, man. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? So what we what we do, you know, what we're doing and what we, we're supposed to be doing you know, I, I, when we come into this truth, you know, it start examining ourselves, man. To seeing if, hey, we a, we a brother or not, man. And, and we know where we fall fallen short at, man. We can get better in those categories, man. 
And I'm talking to myself first and foremost, man. <clears throat> I know it's a lot of things I need to get better. All right. Communication, you know. Hey, trying to, uh, you know, uh, organize my thoughts, you know, and not letting Satan, you know, fuck with my mind and plague my mind with certain thoughts, man. So you get to praying and, and reading these scriptures, man, to get confirmation through the spirit, of course. All right. Hey, there's a lot of other categories as well, too. I must, you know, perfect myself on as well, too, man. You know, because the Lord has called us all out of this world, man. OK. And we all <clears throat> are still tainted, you know, by this devil's, you know, uh, ways of thinking, man. All right. Hey, and though we admit, you know, that it, the, his way is not the, you know, the correct way, you know, they say you can take a, a, a crackhead out the, uh, you know, out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the crackhead or, or, or you know, you can, it's like you could, you could get a crackhead off the dope, you know, but a lot of times that, that crackhead still got, you know what I'm saying, uh, crackhead ways, man. It's those ways that we have, uh, uh, um, that we have, uh, have, uh, uh, um, I guess, obtained, you know, while, while staying into this world, man. Okay. And it's those ways that we're dying daily. You know, the scriptures talk about, you know, dying daily, man. Okay. It's that old world, man, and those old ways. It must die, man, because those ways cannot enter into this new kingdom, man. That mentality cannot enter into this, you know, this new life, man. Okay. As this new creature, man. Okay, the scripture will say you can't put, you know, uh, new wine in old bottles, man. Okay, you know, that bottle being, you know, this, this, our mind, you know. Okay, and we can't put filthy, you know, old, you know, old, which is the world. We can't put that old world into this new living, man. Okay, because we came, we became new creatures in Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and he called us out, to, out of this world, you know, to transform us, man. I would just say in the renewing of your minds, man. And the Lord has caused us to grow up right before his eyes, man. Okay? And although he is proud of us, man, we, we still got work to do, man. <laughs> All right? And one of those works is to be the keepers of our brothers, man. All right? Watching over our brothers, making sure, you know, we good, you know? But first and foremost, man, we got to watch over ourselves and make sure we good, man. Okay? Because the brotherhood is a big part of this ministry, man. Okay? It's a big part of this ministry, man. And, that, and with that, man, I just wanted to segue into, uh, you know, the relationship between Cain and Abel. Okay? Hey, seeing that Cain slew his brother, man. All right? Why? Because he, Cain, hey, he, he knew to offer up, you know, uh, a, a sacrifice that he's supposed to offer up, man. Okay? Yet he decided to do what he wanted to do, man. He decided to do it that will. Like I said, it's this world spirit, man. This world has you, you know, had us doing what we wanted to do, man. Okay? Being a loner, all right? Not caring about, you know, our fellow brothers, man. You know, destroying our brothers, man. Okay? When the Lord called us into this marvelous light, man, now we became keepers of our brothers, man. We got to understand the flock, man. We got to be able to, you know, uh, 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 see if a brother needs some things, you know. And sometimes you ain't got to ask, man. But, of course, you know, you go through your daily life to where, you know, hey, you you, you, you busy, you know, because you got things going on yourself. We understand that. We know that's good, man. All right? Hey, take care of your responsibilities, man. Okay? But don't forget about the brotherhood, man. Okay? Because the brotherhood is your life source, man. Okay, that is that welfare system that the Lord has set up, man, for in, in order for us to maintain through these perilous times, man. All right. Hey, one finger is mighty, man. But hey, hey five fingers, you know, that's formed into a fist, you know, is indestructible, man. <laughs> okay. And that's how we got to become, man. We got to become, you know, that fist, man, of iron, man, <laughs> you know, mentally and spiritually, man. Okay. All through the spirit and power you have by Shimmy Al Shah, of course. Okay. But nevertheless, you know, he's spirit hand the thrust of that fist, man. Why? So we can knock down and, and pull down those strongholds, man, that's been 
tainting us. You know, that's the word I was looking for earlier. You know, hey, hey, when when we were once in this world, man. Okay. All right. Nevertheless, <clears throat> I'm gonna start off in Genesis chapter four. I mean, I'm gonna start at verse eight. It says, "And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him." All right. That word "slew" goes into, uh, you know, uh, he pretty much killed him, man. All right. Why, man? Because he was, you know, he, hey, hey, Abel had favor, man. And he had favor, you know, due to, you know, him being obedient, okay, unto the, his, unto the Lord, man, you know. Hey, that, it was, a, it was a, a, a sacrifice that Cain was supposed to sacrifice, yet he wanted to sacrifice, you know, what he wanted to sacrifice, man, okay. Hey, but seeing the Lord made him, you know, me, hey, he made, you know, the, the spirit, you know, in the manner of able to be a what? A keeper of the flock. All right. And what came to be what? A tiller of the ground, man. OK, so this is of what it, it was already predestinated, you know, on, on the manners of, of people that, you know, uh, that the Lord had made, man. You know, so he, he designed, you know, Cain to be the wicked. You know, or to offer up this wicked sacrifice, man. Okay, so he designed Abel as well, too, to be the righteous sacrifice. It always has been, the Lord has always put two against, one against the other, man. All right, two against two, man. You got to have the righteous and you got to have the wicked, man. Okay, the wickedness is, is there for uh, us to know where, you know, and to appreciate righteousness, man. Okay? So, Cain got mad, you know, <laughs> And Abel, you know, because of the sacrifice that he offered up, man. Okay. But it's gonna get into it, man. Hey, if you if you would you already knew the sacrifice that to sacrifice, why didn't you why didn't you do it? Because it wasn't in him to do it, man. Okay. It wasn't in him, you know, to be a, a keeper, all right, and to offer up that right sacrifice, man. To be obedient. Okay. It was always in him to be disobedient, man. All right, verse 9, it says, And the Lord said unto Cain, It says, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Right? <laughs> so pretty much, you know, Cain was being uh, sarcastic unto the Lord, man. Okay? And hey, the Lord was serious, man. Because hey, the Lord heard, you know, Abel, you know, when he slew, you know, his brother, Cain. I mean, uh, when Cain slew Abel, man, hey, he heard... The voice of Abel, you know, crying up to him, man. And if you could receive it, man, this is how we doing now, man. Because this devil is trying to slay us right now, man. Because Cain came back in the reincarnation of Esau Edom, man. All right? <laughs> and guess what? We are crying out unto the Lord. We are sighing and crying for all the abominations, abominations that be done in the midst of, man. To this day, man. In the midst of what? Babylon the Great, man. Okay? In the midst of Babylon the Great, we are crying unto the Lord, man. The Lord is hearing our cries, man, from this devil putting his fucking foot on our neck, man. And trying to slay us, man. Coming down with great wrath, man. Okay? So the Lord is hearing it. All right? The Lord is hearing our cries, man. All right? Although we may believe that, you know, and sometimes, you know, the Lord ain't, ain't hearing us. No, he hearing our cries, man. In the form of these epistles uh, and the videos, man. All right? In the form of our prayers, man. All right, when we praying for our brothers, man. Okay? The Lord hear these things, man. He see these things in secret, man. Okay? And the Lord is going to what? Reward us openly, man. Okay? It said, uh, verse, verse 9, And the Lord, Yahweh, said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Now, the Lord, <clears throat> Yahweh, already knew, all right, what happened to Abel, man. Okay? And this was another chance that Cain had, you know, uh, 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 to, you know, to tell the truth and to come clean. OK. You know, but just like his sarcastic ass, man, you know, he want to come, you know, and be smart, man, and be arrogant to, and to think that the Lord, you know, hey, don't don't know his every move, man. All right. You knew where your brother was, man. And you get it to this day, man. Hey, man, you know, sometimes you know your brother, you know, 
you know, uh, need some help or whatever it may be, man. Hey, guess what? You got to offer up that help, man. We can't be like Cain and, ju and just ignore, you know, uh, uh, the situation, man, about our brothers, man. Okay? To the best of our ability, of course. Okay? We can't be, you know, in the mentality of that wicked one, man. You know? Because that's how Esau Edom is, man. That's the spirit of Esau Edom and Cain, man. Okay? That pull up your bootstraps and get it get it on your own type uh, spirit, man. When he ain't even get it on his own. Okay? We can't be in that spirit, man. It's uh, like it. It says, am I my brother's keeper? Okay? And that's a question that, um, you know, um, that's a question that, 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 that really was rhetorical <laughs> in a sense, man. Okay? Hey, am I my brother's keeper, man? Hey, you supposed to be. Right? But hey, guess what? He was created to be the wicked, man. He was created, you know, to offer up the sacrifice that he offered up, man. All right? The fruits of the land. All right? Hey, the Lord requires your life, man. Okay? And now what? We're becoming that sacrifice, man. Uh, Romans chapter 12. That living sacrifice, man. Holy and acceptable unto the Lord, man. Which is our what? Reasonable service, man. Okay? Now, instead of us offering up a, a bullock or a lamb, you know, a goat or whatever it may be, with no blemish, man, now we have to get the blemishes off our lives, man, because now we are that sacrifice, man. Okay? And what we're doing... To, uh, to the best of our ability is trying to be obedient unto the Lord, man. And we're offering up that righteous sacrifice unto the Lord. While on the other hand, you know, you got Esau Edom, you know, you know, you got Esau Edom, okay, as our brother, you know, hey, still with that perpetual hatred, man. Ezekiel chapter 35, man, talks about that perpetual hatred, man. It's, man, it's an ongoing hatred that this devil has on us, man. Okay. And he's still yet this day, man. And we are still yet this day in our captivity, man. Under him. Okay? So, if, if we can't expect what the Lord created, you know, to be wicked and crooked, you know, to be straight and righteous. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hey, that's why he said, uh, he said, well, uh, what's the scripture where it say, uh, what is thou to declare my statutes and my judgments, man? Okay, see, and you cast... You know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, you cast, you know, my instructions to the side, man. All right? And that's what this devil has done. That's what Cain done. Okay? He didn't want nothing to do with the scriptures, man. He didn't want nothing to do with the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, man. Okay? He was created to be adverse. Okay? And that's the spirit we should not be in, man. Okay? That's why I asked the question at first, man. My, my brother's keeper, I say, what? You should be, man. All right? You should be, man. Because now it determines on the spirit that you're following, man. you either following wickedness or you following righteousness, man. Okay? Like I said, seeing now, okay, our bodies are, are, are the sacrifice that we're offering up, man. Okay? The, lo the Lord requires life, man. <laughs> okay? He requires life, man, but better yet, he requires your life, man, because you are the sacrifice, all right? You're the cost. You, 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 you counted up the cost, and guess what? The cost is your life, okay? Let me finish reading on. It says, verse 10, and he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother, uh, brother's blood, crieth unto me. From the ground, man, 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 like I said, Ezekiel 35 and 5 talks about the perpetual hatred, man. This devil, you know, has been slaying us, man, ever since he's been in power, man. Okay? Okay? And, uh, hey, Lord knows, you know, the things, and we know the things that was that has been, you know, manifested before us, what this devil has done to us, man. Could you imagine the things that we don't know? And hey, the Lord is going to show us these things that he actually did, man. Everything that he actually did unto us, man. All right? So it's been a, a perpetual uh, uh, blood, you know, uh, uh, that's been uh, tainting the ground, man. All right? And we're crying up to, to, unto the Lord, man, and to this day, man. Hey, hey, come save us, man. Save us from our brothers, man, our wicked, our wicked brother, man. 
okay? Who, who's daily trying to slay us, man. <laughs> okay? And how is he trying to slay us? Hey, with, with his philosophies, okay? With his doctrine. He's trying to slay us through, through, through what? Physically, through, through the food, through the water, all right? Through our women, all right? Come on, man. Hey, we behind enemy lines, man. This devil has got us, you know, uh, in a trick bag, man. All right? But guess what? Hey, the Lord has all, hey, he saved that remnant, man. Hey, just like, you know, after, uh, you know, Cain, you know, slew Abel, he raised up another, you know, in, his, in, the, in, the, in the righteous stead, man, which his name is Seth, man. <laughs> okay? Seth took the place, you know, uh, uh, which was uh, Adam's and Eve's other son, you know, which was made from the righteous, man. And Seth, you know, through Seth, you know, that that line and that remnant, okay, of righteousness was to be, you know, uh, was to go through him, man. Okay. So the Lord has always had that uh, remnant of righteous seed, man, you know, to, to, to you know, always uh, be on the earth, man. You know, to push the righteousness. Okay. It says, um, I'm going to read 10 again. And he said, what has thou done? What has thou done? The voice of thy brother, brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thine hand. Okay. Yeah, man. You know. And, and this devil is trying to, you know, uh, throw the rock and hide his hand, man. He's trying to act like, you know, uh, uh, he's not the one, you know, hey, put, put, uh, that, that, that's, that's slaying us, man. Okay, he's doing that shit to this day, man. Okay? He's setting up all these pitfalls and, and traps, <laughs> you know, and, and, and try to sit back and, and try to blame the accuser. He's the accuser of the brother and try to blame us. All right. It's just like you you, you put a, a a sandwich in the store, you know, and a, and a poor man walking by the store every day, you know, that is homeless and hungry, you know, and then he finally want to go and, 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 and the courage enough to grab that sandwich because he hungry, not because he, you know, just, you know, doing it out of, you know, because he want to do it, man, a man hungry, you know, and he'll put that shit, he'll dangle that meat right in his face, man. And, and, and then he'll blame him for picking that shit up, you know, going, uh, because he hungry, man. Okay? And that's how this devil does, man. Why? Because he's been, he's given the fatness of the earth, man. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. The wicked is running this earth, man. He's ruling this earth right now. And the Lord gave him that authority, too. And while he's running the earth, man, he's hoarding all the people, hoarding the land, and hoarding the resources, man. All right? That's why Lazarus talks about that great gulf, you know, in the, in the book of Luke, man. That great gulf that was fixed between the two of them, man. The rich man and Lazarus, man. Okay? But when those tables turn, okay, and guess what? Now we're going to be in Abraham's bosom, and now the kingdom of heaven that, that's going to come on earth, all right, spearheaded by Yahweh Shai, all right, and we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai ruling in the kingdom. Guess what? The table's going to turn then, man. And now it's going to be our turn, you know, to have that great gulf, you know, all right, that they actually fix between us, man. It's going to be the, uh, what? The, the changes of the gods, man. The change of the gods. All right? It's that movie with uh, Eddie Murphy, uh, Mortimer, and um, um, Changing Places. Uh, I believe it's something like that. All right? You know? Yeah, man. Shit. It's gonna to come to a point where now we're we're gonna be in a wealthy position, man. It's gonna be our kingdom, man. We're gonna be it's gonna be our heaven on earth. All right. And this same damn devil, you see what I'm saying? That that has uh, uh um kept his foot on our neck, man. Guess what? Now we're gonna have our foot on his, man. All right. And rule him with a rod of arm. Okay. All because of this perpetual hatred, man. That has been going on since the garden, man. It says, uh, verse 12, it says, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee 
her strength, man. And that's why you see this devil had to come up with GMO food, man. Genetically modified organism, man. Why? Because the earth is not yielding the fruit that it that 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 it that it actually can yield, man. Okay? And this devil has tainted and, and, and chemicalized the damn the soil as well, too, man. Not only that, man, like we we supposed to have a land Sabbath to where we give the land a rest, man. He does not, you know, uh, obey that land Sabbath, man. Okay? That it get a time, uh, a, a, the earth time enough to replenish itself, man. All right? So this is one of his curses, man. Okay? This is one of his curses, man, for, for, for being hey, strictly disobedient, man. Okay? It said, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her, her strength, man. And this is why, you know, these devils, when they came over here and raped, robbed, and murdered, and pillaged, you know, through, through uh, uh, Christopher Colombo, all right? Guess who he had to, you know, uh, 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 to, till that, to till a land, man? It was the so-called Native Americans, man. Gad, man. All right? And us. You know, the, the uh, Judah, when Judah came over here in the 1600s. Okay? But when he came over here, hey, Gad had this land, man. The uh, the, the the Central, South, and, and North Americas, man. Gad was inhabited in this land, man. Okay? And parts of the other ten tribes as well, too. Okay? And we taught him how to, to till the land, man. Okay? And bring forth fruit from the ground, man. Okay, now it's to the point where shit, now this devil is using GMO, man. He's offering up that same wicked ass sacrifice he done, you see what I'm saying, in the book of Genesis, man, that we reading right now. Okay? And and now he's mad, you know, because the earth is not, you know, uh, uh, tilling, you know, uh, uh, or bringing forth fruit that, it, that it's supposed to, man. Okay? And guess what? Now he's coming down with great wrath again, man. Why? Because he knew if he got a short time to live. Okay? It said, a fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth, man. Right? It's just like this devil vocab alone, man. All right? Talking about the Edomites is done away with and they got killed off. Where, man? Where in history? All right? Hey, the scripture says there's no end to all the people on the earth, man. <laughs> okay? Let me get that scripture, man, right quick. Uh, let me see. It's in one of these. Just be patient with me. And I'm going to find it. There's no end of all the people. It's in the pocket for somewhere. I think it's Ecclesiasticus. Or Ecclesiastes 5 or something like that. Oh, there it is. Ecclesiastes 4 and 16. Let me get that right quick. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 4. All right. Verse 16, it says, There is no end of all the people, even of all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. But the point is, there's no end of all the people, man. Right? So these Edomites, you know, <laughs> you know, hey, 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 it is really, you know, through the spirit came back in the reincarnation of Esau Edo. Esau Edom, this was Cain, man. All right? A fugitive and a, and a vagabond, man. And guess what a, what a future is going to do, man? He's not going to come out, you know, with his own face, man. He's going to, you know, put on disguises, man. He ain't going to really let you know who he really is, man. No, he's going he gonna to be incognito, man. Okay, and that's what this devil is doing, man. And you got devils like uh, Vocab Malone talking about is trying to further, you know, them being a, he's a harboring the fugitives, man, which he's probably a fugitive himself. All right, he's uh, his father, the devil, man. Because all he do is, uh, you know, uh, uh, teach for debate and strife, man. All right, so he's a devil himself, himself. Okay. 
But nevertheless, man, there's no end of all the people, man, as you can see right here. Okay? So how is the how are the, how are the Edomites done away with? They're still alive, you know, uh, uh, in flesh to this day, man. That's why I say, hey, the fugitive and the vagabond. It says, it's like it says, um, it says a fugitive for, in the middle of 12, a fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. Look at this word, fugitive. All right, a fugitive, quiver, a totter, a shake, reel, stagger, wander, a wanderer, move, sift, make move. Uh, 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 uh. You know, it says uh, to disturb, to cause, to wander. All right, let me look up. <clears throat> let me look it up in the um, etymology and see what they got. Fugitive. It's a lock here. All right? It said, one who flees a runaway, a fugitive from justice. You see that? This is what he's doing, man. He, he's a fugitive, man. All right, and nobody has brought this devil up on charges yet, man. All right, but his sins has reached the earth, man. His 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 reputation precedes itself, man. If if he's not, you know, the devil, then who is he? Right? If he's not the uh, wicked, you know, which the scriptures describe him as the border of wickedness in Malachi, in the book of Malachi. All right. If he's not, then who? The, and then who is he, man? Okay. And what he's doing, he's trying to hide up under these other names, man. Hey, that's what the Rothschilds and the shit did, man. They changed their names, man, once they, you know, uh, came, you know, once they got control of the, of the monetary systems and all these things, man. All right? Hey, this devil knows how, this is how he runs America. This is how he runs the world, man, through his deception. Okay? If people, you know, uh, what's this, what they say, um... Hey, the devil, you know, when he, when he said that, what the, damn, what's that saying? They say, it said, uh, his biggest, uh, his biggest way is to make him believe that he don't, you know, that he don't exist, man. All right. Hey, that's that fugitive and the vagabond, roughly paraphrasing that phrase. All right. It's to make him think that he don't exist, man. And he is that devil Isaiah 14 talks about, man. This is the man, all right, that made the earth tremble, man. All right. This is the man that comes out in the working of Satan, man, uh, that uh, First Thessalonians talks about. He's coming out to the workers of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders, man. Okay? So he is the fugitive and the vagabond upon the earth, man. Okay? He is that fugitive, man. <laughs> okay? You know? So, yeah, man. Hey, hey, the Lord has called us, you know, uh, you know, you know, to be our brother's keeper, man. And don't, don't come in the spirit of, of this devil, man. Okay? He's a fugitive and a vagabond. It says, fleeing, have fled, have taken flight. All right? Uh, you get the point. You know? That's it, man. All right? Now, let's get back to the... Um, <laughs> it said right here, it said, nervous... Timid and nervous. Yeah, this devil is nervous, man. All right, why? Because he's being found out, man. Okay? Hey, this devil is being found out, man. The men of the Lord, you know, starting with the apostles and the elders on down, all through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shimi Shai has revealed, you know, the fugitive, man. <laughs> okay? That's why he's nervous, man. Because he's been found out, man. Okay, and what he's trying to do is he's trying to kill the witness. All right? That's what, that's what you know, when you look at the mob and all that shit, man, what they do, man. They try to whack the witness, man, because no witness, no evidence. All right? No witness, no evidence, man. And what this devil is doing, you know, he, you know he got the blessing of the sword, man. You know, he don't try to hide his sword or nothing, man. <laughs> you know, his, 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 his reputation precedes himself, man. Okay? But I digress, you know, you know, we got to get on Esau Edom, man, you know, because he's that wicked brother, man. Okay. But uh, we're going to go back to the rest of these scriptures. A couple more scriptures, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close it up, you know. I'm going to close it up. 
You know, I write down notes, man. I don't, I don't remember a lot of scriptures, you know, myself. So I like to write down notes, you know. It's a lot for not being uh, <laughs> a genius. <laughs> but it's all good. This is First John chapter 4. It says, uh, verse 20, it says, If a man say, I love the most high power and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he, for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the most high power whom he hath not seen? You see what I'm saying? How, how can we say, you know, we love the most high power, all right? And we ain't seen the most power, even though we know he exists through faith. You see what I'm saying? But we haven't seen it. But we see our brothers, you know, damn near every day, you know, once a week, uh, twice a week, three times a week. However, you know, the spirit will lead us to see our brothers. You see what I'm saying? So... The way we show our love towards our brother, man, okay, is guess what? Is is I mean, uh, our love towards the Most High Power, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai is to show love to our brothers, man. All right. So if you see your brothers in need, you know, a hungry, guess what? Feed them, man. If you see your brother, you know, that that, that needs shelter, if if the, if it's if it need be, hey, give him shelter, man. If you see your brother, you know what I'm saying, in need for that's thirsty. Give him thirst. Give him water, man. Well, that's spiritual and physical, man. All right? And so forth and so forth, man. Okay? And, and then, then guess what? That's what that's what I got in Matthew 25 where it talks about, guess what? How do you, When the disciples said, hey, man, how did I feed you? How did I clean you? How did I, you know? It's like when you clean the bride, get into it. You know? But we can't say we love the most high power, Yahweh. By by Shimei was shy, man, and we don't love our brothers, man. We don't show that love, you know, towards towards the brotherhood, man. All right, it's impossible. Verse twenty one, it says, First John four and twenty one, it says, and this commandment have we from him that he that loveth the Most High Power love his brothers also, man. Okay, you can't say you love your brother, man. I mean, the Most High Power. Without showing love to your brother, man. Without calling somebody, texting the brother, checking up on the brother. You know what I'm saying? All right? Uplifting the brother. Whatever it may be, man. Okay? You can't say that, man. Hey, we know we go through this hell. We got to go through this hell. And we, we we facing a lot of bullshit, you know what I'm saying, in this world. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Where, where this world can overwhelm us at times. You know, so shit happens. We understand that, man. Okay, but that's what the brotherhood is for, man. All right, so you pull, you pull energy from the brotherhood, man. Cause you can't do that in the world, man. Cause a motherfucker look at you and think you soft, man. All right, and you should be looking at your brother and thinking they soft, man. In no way, shape, or form, man. In no way, shape, or form, man. Okay, cause hey, cause it's a light thing, you know, for the Lord to decrease you, man, and put that brother that you think. That you looking down upon, you know, in your stead, man. Okay? And that's why, if anything, you know, the world has taught us, man. It's taught us humility, man. To be humble in this thing. The Lord is teaching us thing, this thing, man. Okay? And we show that we show that service within the brotherhood, man. Okay? Matthew 25 and 31, it says, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the thrones of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd, like as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. Man. It says, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. All right. The sheep represent the elect. All right. Okay. And the goat represents the, hey, the non-elect, you know, the heathen with the, you know, the Israelites with the heathen state of mind, the Gentile state of mind, and the other heathens as well, too, the other Gentile. Okay, those are the goats. It says, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundations of the world. And the Lord has called, the Lord has chosen us since the foundations of the earth, man. He predestinated our, our place, you know, within the kingdom and our position within the kingdom, man, since the foundation of the earth, man, already. So we already won. Lord willing, we be those men. All right. Don't want to boast as if we obtained, you know, the prize already. OK. But this is what we striving for, man. This is what we out here on the highways and byways, 
you know, putting up these videos for, man. All right? We striving for the mastery. And the mastery is the kingdom of heaven, man, to overcome this world. Okay? It says, uh, verse 34, it says, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you uh, from the foundation of the world. It says, For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, uh, when saw ye, or when saw we thee, and hunger, and fed thee, and thirsty, and gave thee drink? All right, so they saying, when, when did we do these things? When did I give you a drink? When did I, you know, when did I feed you, you know? It said, and then he said, when, when saw thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee. Verse 39, it says, or when saw we thee sick or in prison and come unto thee. He said, and the king shall, shall answer and say unto them, verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it to one of the least of these my brethren, he have done it unto me. You see that? So we've got to, got to be careful <clears throat> on who, you know, when we got the Lord gave us brothers, whether we, you know, don't like the situation, you know, or not. You feel what I'm saying? We got to be careful on how we deal with our brothers, man. Okay? Because we could be dealing with Yahweh Shai. It can, it can really, it can be Yahweh Shai coming in the form of those brothers, or the, or those brothers, man. Okay? And we treating them dirty. Or, or we dicking down upon them, or we talking shit about them, or whatever fucking you know we doing, you know. Hey, guess what, man? We could be talking shit about Yahweh Shai, man. When we don't look out for our brothers, man, you know, to the best of our ability. If we can do it, we can do it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it may be, shit happens. You know, like like I say, I lead with myself first, man, because I can be better, you know, in this in this situation as well too, man. So I'm leading with myself, okay. It, hey man, we 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 gotta be better as a brother, man, as a, as a brotherhood, man, because this is a gift unto the Lord, man. Okay. Uh, this is Luke chapter fifteen, all right, and thirteen is slacking, not Luke. This is John chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. Greater love have no man than this, than a man lay his life down for his friends, man. All right. Hey, hey what they say? Hey, what they say? I think the scriptures say say um. Uh, a friend, a, a friend. I mean, a, bro, a, a friend could be close like a brother, man. Roughly paraphrase. Okay. And we got to be willing to lay our life down for our brothers, man. Okay. Seeing that, you know, hey, this could be your Howard Shy, man. We laying our life down for, man. And what a special honor to do, man. First John chapter three verse sixteen. This is gonna be the last one. I'm gonna close up. It says, "Hereby perceive." We that uh, we the love of the Most High because He laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. You feel me? And that's it, man. I'ma close up on that, man. All right. At the Lord, He laid down our lives, His lives for us, man. And He became that sacrifice. You see what I'm saying? For us, in order for us to live and get this truth, man. All right. So in return, we showing our love for the Lord. But how we love our brothers, man. All right? Hey, because guess what? This ain't no CMB, cash money, you know, brothers, you know, from New Jack City. But guess what? It's the KO, 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 uh, H, man. Kingdom of Heaven, man. All right? It's the KO H, man. Kingdom of Heaven, man. All right? And guess what, man? We got to show our love for the Lord, man. You know, based on how we show our love for the brotherhood. All right? So with that, we give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakakadash. I'm tired. Gonna try to go get some rest.